Good afternoon everyone, hope you're all well. Thanks for clicking on the video. Off for a one nighter today at the Woodland Camp. I haven't camped there before, so I'm really looking forward to this. I've got my backpacks on, I've got my backpack on, I've got my chest bag on, I've got my Dutch Army tent, we've got a load of food, we've got about five litres of water. Oh yes, yeah, so we're going to be set for today. I'll bring you back as and when. Good afternoon, Terry. If you'd like to step back, get away, Terry. Right, back, get away. Did Terry give it up big licks then? I chinned him, he soon ran off. I wouldn't usually walk this way, just thought I figured with these big bags on it'd be a lot easier than going my usual way over barbed wire fences and through fields when I've got to duck down under barbed wire fences as well. But yeah, this is a Bradley Wood Scout Camp. Right, I'm back at camp. Exactly the same as I left it. That's my chest bag. In there I've got all my food stuff, brews, milk, water, food, whatever else. I've got uh, Van Gogh 6020 or 6010 I think it is. I must have had that bag for about 20 years. It's been everywhere all that world with me. Everywhere I've been playing with bands it's come with me, everywhere. In there I've got my uh, Dutch Army tent. I've got the poles there on the side. I've also got my tools and paracord in there and some tarps. I've got my British Army Arctic sleeping bag. Got me a Dutch Army roll mat. We've also got the Gore-Tex bivy bag in there as well. I'm thinking tent's going to go along here. We'll get that along there in front of the fire. And jo job should be a good one. Right, I've just started taking my kit out of bags. There's my tent there, sleeping bag, all my food stuff, a couple of tarps, roll mat. I've been gathering a bit of firewood as well. Got a bit of a busy day really. Uh, I want to get a fire pit done. I want to find a load more wood for this shelter as well. So. Um, yeah, we'll best get going. Ideally, I'd like to make a bit of a table, maybe a bench. See how we are for time, eh? All right, let's get going. All right, I've got that black tarp I mentioned in a previous video. I've got, got a couple of poles here lying about. Some up there too. A lot of it's rotten, so I don't think I'm going to be able to use much of it because I won't be able to support up. There's quite some big pile on things over there as well. So this is where I'm at right now. I jig these around again. I put the better, more thicker posts on this side, this is where my head's going to go. And it's gradually it's got a bit, a bit worse on this side. And I've filled them in with some branches there because I couldn't find any more fence posts. But yeah, that's a general gist. I'm going to put another bar between these stakes, cut them down, and then I'm going to put that, cut that black tarp to size to put it over there. And then probably tomorrow I'll get it covered in moss. So I've got other jobs to do today. And I might even get this back wall filled in tomorrow as well. The tarp was too big so I just cut it down a bit, so rather than fold it over, I've uh, actually cut it more to length, it tucks in a bit better along the top there as well, but I'm going to moss all the way across there so that's not going to be a problem. I was going to cut them off but I'll leave it overhanging, I'll just put them on there to weigh it down. And over here I'm just going to build, build another wall in there and then tuck this inside the wall so we get a bit more insulation. Got plenty of wood to play with, so I need to make some stakes now.
Right, this is where I'm at. I built this wall here. I pulled the tarp down over the other side and I've covered it in branches on this side. That should do me, I think. Of course, I'll just uh, throw more sink gaps. And then uh, probably tomorrow, or maybe even tonight, a bit later on, I might make a wall for that side as well. I don't know yet, still plenty to do. As you can see, I've been bringing more firewood in. I've been throwing stuff down there, what I might need. I've brought stones for the fire pit. Loads of wood. Uh, a couple more bits of wood so I can cut up for some stakes. In fact, I've got one stake there. Yeah, I might crack on with that wall, actually. I think I might do that. Oh, second thoughts. I think I'm going to clear a space and get the tent set up. Light's beginning to drop. So I think if I set up shelter, get all that sorted, and then I'm ready for tonight. And I can, I can sort fire pit out later on. I can sort that wall out later on. Happy days. I think I'll do that. <coughs> Yes, I'm thinking if I get the tent set up here, right in front of the fire, I think job, job is sorted. Right, I've got the tent set up now. I have set it right close to the fire, so I've adapted and I've improvised. And I've fastened me first, me first, uh, the front cord to that tree up there, out of the way of the fire. So I can sit here, no worries. Right, I'm going to get everything in there, set up, and I can think about a fire pit. Right, that's all sorted. I'll line up that side, head up there. I've got bivy bag, English one blanket, Arctic roll mat, and Arctic sleeping bag. Sorry, Dutch army roll mat and Arctic sleeping bag. Everything else. Got my pee pot, just in case I need a pee in the middle of the night. And all my cooking stuff there. Right, I think it's time now to start making a fire pit. So here's my fire pit. As you've seen the big slab before on the big iron plate, it's got a load of stones, put them all the way around, some bricks in there, so I've got a bit of a grilling point as well. It's so, alright, is that? I could put my pan on there, put a frying pan on there as well. Lovely stuff. First fire at the new camp, brilliant stuff. Right, I've, uh, I've been sent a little gift by a viewer. They got my name and address on there, won't show me address. Well, I haven't opened it as you can see, it's uh, by Craig Jones, if you're watching mate, thank you very much. Oops, there we go, he sent me a, a titanium spoke. This is brilliant. Can't get it out, it comes in a nice little plastic sheath. Nice little drawstring bag as well. There we go, check that out. It's a looper, titanium spoke, obviously spoon here, knife and fork on the other side. Like I say, it's Craig Jones, thank you very much mate, it's much appreciated. I'm going to stir my brew with it now. I can just find my brew making material.
Nice. Thank you very much, Craig. Much appreciated, mate. That spark fits perfectly inside my tin. You just see it there in its little pouch. Cheers again, Craig. Much appreciated, buddy. Jam tarts are a go. This fire's proper spitting and crackling and hissing and spitting again. I don't know if I'm too close to it. So far, I'm not getting burnt. So I've got a message up from here, Jordan. He says he's going to try and find his way down here. I've sent him location, so hopefully he can find it. Nice to see him, not seen him for a while. I don't think he's stopping at night, he's just popping down to say hi. We've got the pan on, just heating up some oil. And true to form, I forgot my cooking utensils, so I've just whittled myself an egg nudging and potato moving stick. Peel that bark off as far as I need to go. That should do the job. I'm hoping back time with these are almost done. That's going to be burnt down enough for me to cook. Steak, Here we go with the steak. It's only a rump steak, it's nothing major. Straight onto the coals. Now I'm hoping by the time this is cooked and my eggs are cooked, it's all going to be ready. So where's my egg? So we've got the steak on the coals, we've got the potatoes sauteed and the egg going. I'll be turning that steak over shortly. There we have rump steak, sorted potatoes, potatoes and a fried egg. Oh, Jordan and Ollie have come down. Hi. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. Camping with me, Jordy B. <laughs> Jordy B. <and laughs> Oliver. Today, Bushcraft. my friend Ollie Rawshaw Bushcraft is going to tell you a joke. Take it away, Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a bulletproof Irishman? I don't know. What do you call a bulletproof Ricochet. Irishman? Ricochet. Ricochet. Ah, oh, come on, to be sure. <laughs> <laughs> Jordy B cooked the beef billy pork. 
obvious, you know what I'm saying? Aye. Johnny, you're not worried about that scene. Ah! I'm sorry, I'm lacking Let's go relax in the woods and get hit by meteors. <laughs> 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 Oh, video. Well, you come to Bushcraft, bring some safety goggles, you don't lose your eyes. Bushcraft! <laughs> it's a bit dead, isn't it? Cook and can. Cook and can. Chopping lug. Raw! I'm an actually murderer. <laughs> Don't put that in your video. <laughs> <laughs> I have a career! <laughs> <laughs> Cracking bit of wood there by Geordie B. What up? Check that out. We've got heat but not much flamage. See you later on boys, take care. There goes Jordan and Ollie, good seeing him again. Oh, that was nice, good seeing Jordan and Ollie again, not seen him since last year. Left me a big pile of wood to burn. Good times, we had a few munch, a bit of sweets, some crisps, brilliant stuff. Fire on, got a nice brew, and that's me sorted for the night. Just gonna sit here and enjoy this. That fire reflector's ace. Really working. There's no wind either. Everything's, I'm not getting smoked out. I haven't been all night. I've been meteored out all night by the uh, the bricks that I had in there. But I put the bricks in there so I could use the grill. And I realized it was that, that we're firing stones everywhere. So we've removed them. It's been a lot better now. It's time for some cabris fingers. I think it was January. It's actually a really mild night. It's warm. I'm sat right next to a fire with a cracking fire reflector light, but even so, it's still quite mild when you go away from the camp. It's been a great night. Great night so far. Great seeing all you and Jordan. Good seeing you, lads. I don't have to do right much now. Jordan's cut all the wood up. Most I have to do is just go over there for a pee. Everything's in arm's reach. Can't ask for more. <laughs> like a backrest though, that'd be nice. But it'll just take the weight off my back, that'd be nice. We'll pan on for another brew, final big fire, and then that's it. I'm gonna go to bed, I think it's time. <clears throat> Bit of cracking night, absolutely awesome night. Really enjoyed myself. Oh, excuse me, just sat here, burning wood. Thanks again to Geordie B for cutting all the wood up. I split some down because some of it were damp, so I had to split it, but yeah, we're going. We've got a decent fire. Nice warm night, really. You wouldn't think it was January, like I said earlier. You wouldn't think it at all.
really do with a chopping block. I've just got this at the moment. See what I mean? Big pan ready. Bad time brew. Can't beat it. Arguably the best brew of the day. But then again, the first one of the day is quite good as well. Now oh, I feel so good getting them boots off. Well, this is me now. What a do. Cracking night tonight. Really enjoyed myself. Great seeing Ollie and Jordan again. Good seeing you boys. Glad you came down. Yeah, it's been a great night. It's time to get some shut eye. I'll see you all in a few hours. See you later now. Bye bye then. Morning, everyone. <laughs> I'll be honest, I've had a really, really shite night's sleep. I don't even think I've been asleep, to be honest. I didn't bring my roll mat. I think that's made a massive difference. I also freaked myself out because I got right inside this bag. I must have woke up at some point and I tried moving my arms and I couldn't and I was trapped. <laughs> so I got freaked out. <laughs> How stupid. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I've been tossing and turning ever since. It's just coming up to 7 o'clock in the morning now. I think I'll try and go to sleep at about 2. So I've got 5 hours of boredom. Yay! <laughs> So I'm just going to lie here and pluck up courage and then I guess I'm just going to pack up, I'm going to get home. Try and get some sleep I guess. I'll tell you what else happened as well. We got to about 4 o'clock and I got borderline in this hard ground. So I thought, right. I'm going to get in my bivvy, wrap myself in my blanket and I'll lie on top of my sleeping bag to give myself a bit more cushion. Oh, what a bloody stupid idea that was. Oh, so cold. I thought the blanket would be able to wrap around me enough, but no. So after about an hour of tossing and turning and trying to get myself warm doing that, that wasn't happening, so I got back in my sleeping bag again. Oh, dear God, what a rubbish night's sleep that is. If I've slept, it's been quite warm and cosy. Now, back's hurting though, because the ground's bloody hard. So, never forget my inflatable mattress. I'm gonna have to remember that. I thought I'd be okay, but obviously wrong. <laughs> I'm going to get up soon and start moving. It's nearly half seven. Paul was trying to get to sleep now. Well, that's it. We're all packed up now. Going to leave that bottle there for later. Uh, next time I'm down. All the wood that's left over. Fire pit. Not bad.
sound. Ah, jobs are good. You know what, I think this is the earliest I've ever left camping. In all the years that I've been, I've never left this early. I'm saying that, I don't think I've ever had such crap night's sleep. So yeah, I've got about another two more mile walk home. Two and a half miles, something like that. Then I'll be back. Right, this is me. Another five minutes and I'll be home. If you stuck around with us all the way through this video, thank you so much. Much appreciated. I've had a blast, it's been a great night. Apart from the lack of sleep, it's been a really good night. Awesome to see my boys coming down. Not seen them for a while. <sighs> Thanks for the continued support, it means a lot. Thanks for my new subscribers. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye, then.